What's happening, people? I had to come in and talk about this, yeah? So if you haven't seen already, the Jeffrey Epstein client list has been revealed. And guess who's all over it? Prince Nancy Andrew, yeah? How is the guy not behind bars right now? It's a known fact that he's a paedophile and a sexual predator. But the so-called king, his brother, Charles, decided to allow him back into the royal family, didn't he? Even though the number one hate campaign about the royals is to do with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry because they decided to up up and leave the shitstorm of a family, yeah, and do their own thing in another country. But yeah, they're always in the headline news. But it just don't make sense. Like even all the monarchy fans hate Meghan and Harry, but yet there's a no nonce in the royal family. For me personally, I say abolish the royal family, yeah. Why do we actually need them, you know? They're all corrupt. They're racist. Yeah, they hide paedophiles in their family. God knows what else goes on. And people are happy with this in this country. Come on, man. Markle. La princesa Meghan Markle está destruyendo la familia real. Príncipe Andrew, no. Es impresionante. Ella, por solo no ser blanca, y es no, tan no criticada, en, tan en criticada, es tan racista la prensa empresarial que ser una princesa no blanca es peor que ser un príncipe uh -huh. pedófilo. Exacto. Esos eso son increíble. los valores de la prensa empresarial que existen en todas partes del mundo, que acá en este programa no se... Asked me one night, you don't think they'll ever pull our security, do you? Never. Not in this climate of hate. And not after what happened to my mother. Also, not in the wake of my Uncle Andrew. He was embroiled in a shameful scandal, accused of the sexual assault of a young woman. And no one had so much as suggested that he lose his security. Whatever grievances people had against us, sex crimes weren't on the list. February 2020. I scooped Archie from his nap and took him out to the lawn. It was sunny, cold, and we gazed at the water, touched the dry leaves, collected rocks and twigs. I kissed his chubby little cheeks, tickled him, then glanced down at my phone to see a text from the head of our security team, Lloyd. He needed to see me. I carried Archie across the garden and handed him to Meg, then went across the soggy grass to the cottage where Lloyd and the other bodyguards were staying. We sat on a bench both of us wearing puffer jackets. Waves rolling gently in the background, Lloyd told me that our security was being pulled. He and the whole team had been ordered to evacuate. Surely they can't. I would tend to agree, but they are, he said. So much for the year of transition. The threat level for us, Lloyd said, was still higher than for that of nearly every other royal, equal to that assigned the Queen. And yet the word had come down and there was to be no arguing. So here we are, I said. The ultimate nightmare. The worst of all worst-case scenarios. Any bad actor in the world would now be able to find us, and it would just be me with a pistol to stop them. Oh, wait. No pistol. I'm in Canada. I rang Pa. He wouldn't take my calls. Just then I got a text from Willie. Can you speak? Great. I was sure my older brother after our recent walk in the Sandringham Gardens, would be sympathetic. That he'd step up. He said it was a government decision. Nothing to be done.
when you say, why has Harry ended up with such a kicking from the media? The idea that it's his own fault for refusing to dance to the media's tune, for, for writing his own books, for putting his own side of the story. And you say, well, he gives all these interviews. Andrew gave an interview to Emily Maitlis in which his entire life was sort of falling about his feet by the end of it. And he stood up and walked away thinking he played a blind. I mean, it just doesn't hold. It is, of all the subjects we cover together on the radio, the one that I think most illustrates the subtle ways in which the media infects the way we think is this one. Because so many people who would ordinarily know much better and have quite a clear line on things are absolutely persuaded that, that Harry and Meghan are the wrong ones and that the, the royal family as it is, or, or, or Kate and William, or um, even Andrew Windsor, that they're, that they're the good guys. It's extraordinary, and it hasn't happened by accident. It is the best example, with the possible exception of Brexit, it is the best example of media gaslighting that I have witnessed in my life. And speaking of Brexit, find me someone that hates Harry and Meghan, but can't really tell you why, except something, something, loyalty, something, and I'll find you someone that voted for Brexit. I became the first black man to shoot any cover for British Vogue. Since then, I've had this extraordinary career photographing amazing humans, amazing moments. But beyond all the glitz and all the glamour, it is important for me to recognize the empathy of where my lens must look. I want my images to let you know that you cannot say you did not know. At its best, photography can let us know the work that we need to do. And remind us who we can be at our very best.